things occurring, you know, and all of the answers always point to the same thing, which is that that system, you know, the fiat system as we, you know, as we knew it throughout the 1900s or so, it's slowly but surely coming to an end, you know, and we look at the adoption curve of crypto, um, it is actually accelerating faster than the adoption of the internet, you know, and I remember a time, you know, when people were saying like, oh, email, like no one's going to use that long term, you know, that's going to fall by the wayside and, and look at where we are now, right? Yeah, now all of us have like 20 different emails, right? Exactly. So are you a maxi? No, and, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why, right? Um, because it would be ridiculous to to think that there is only Bitcoin or that there is only Ethereum. You know, these are fundamentally different things. You know, like Bitcoin is more of a, you know, I view it as like digital gold. It's a store of value. It is a immutable ledger. You know, it is that infinitely long printing piece of receipt paper. Whereas you have newer technologies like Ethereum, right? That's been around quite long as well, and it's now proven itself as a as a useful um, as a useful tool because of smart contracts, you know. And and the basics of that, for those of you who might not know, smart contract is just rather than it being a signed piece of paper and getting lawyers and all these people involved to to force you to comply with the you know the terms and uh, conditions of that contract. This is simply an electronic handshake that requires no third party intervention. So like if I wanted to send you, Josh, some money, right? Like, uh, you know, and we agreed to some kind of trade, we, we'd have that smart contract that would facilitate that. I put in my input, you put in your input. And then when those inputs meet the conditions of the contract, the contract executes. And that is, you know, fundamentally different than what goes on over in the Bitcoin blockchain. You know, and I, I won't get into too much specifics of it, but to, to be a maxi in one of these things, I think, is is really to not have a full view of the larger market of blockchain technology, because it's not just Bitcoin and it's not just decentralized finance on the Ethereum blockchain. It's, you know, now we have the advent of, of companies like Celsius that are offering yield to people. We have, you know all of these different projects to do different things, you know, whether they be centralized or decentralized or, you know, have, you know, uh, you know, maybe a hodgepodge of different features from other currency or cryptocurrencies or blockchains, right? They all do different things and they all have value in and of themselves that are different, you know?